as it is I, Aaron the Book Questioner. Today I introduce you to this scary but good spiritual book. The Night Parade, the Catherine Tangeri. Now, 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 Night Parade. What could that be? Some kind of festival? Well, I'll tell you the story. Well, the main character, an ordinary Tokyo girl named Saki, is going to visit her grandmother. And there it was a graveyard that their long diseased her long diseased grandpa resides. Used to take care of them. And and it was at Oban and there were festivals and fun, but there were some mean village kids who insulted her. And she was very prideful and wouldn't let go of that insult, so she played along even though she didn't like it. And and the bully-ish village kids, they made her take them to the graveyard. Look at the stone and stuff like that. And that is kind of weird because, um, excuse me, are you going to go to the graveyard in the dead of the night? I heard there were some zombies there. I mean, duh, I mean, I mean, personally, if I was a normal person, if I was uh, Saki, I would have said, no, I'm not going to the graveyard at the middle of the night. No. But she had to do it because she was very prideful, like I mentioned. And so Saki went to the graveyard. Then they did a little bet after they did a game and to see who was scared first. And the first scared person had to ha pay a punishment. Now, now they were playing with Saki like a toy, and they wanted her to lose, and they managed to make her scared. And so, her Saki's punishment was to ring a large bell, a gigantic bell, and that bell was quite holy, I guess. And when she rung it, boom, an ancient death curse was awakened. And Saki woke up at the middle of the light a few days, a few, well, a day at the night. And there was a fox. And that fox was the first guide. The first guide to the spiritual world. And by that, quite literally. Now, so we're living in the same place, but it's kind of like different dimensions. We can't see each other or know what each other's doing. So there is in the same world there is a spiritual and the human parts going on in the same place and at the same time. And and only at Ubon and the, for the spirits, the night parade, they could go humans could dwell in the night. And now that is quite unbelievable. I mean, spirit, seriously? But to Saki, it is quite real. She tried and tried, and she had to go through kind of like trials through the gate and go to the mid light prince, the only one who had the power to remove the curse, supposedly. So she followed at first the great, well, the fox. Then a Tengu, then a Tanuki, a raccoon dog. And, uh, and they were guides, spiritual guides to the world. And it was quite hard to go t to find the path to the of the gods to go to the mid -light, midnight prince's palace. And that is, well, quite normal because, I mean, no prince. Prince probably lives in top security. But, alas, it is more top security because a quite unfriendly spirit who calls himself the new lord is quite unfriendly to Saki. Could Saki go through all the scary parts, all the bad parts, all the disgusting parts 
and find the mint light prince and remove the looming death curse that is a threat to both her world and the spiritual one? You gotta read the end of the book. I almost told you everything, but you know what I mean. And like always, your book questioner, Aaron the book questioner. This, like, you might think that spirits are all bad at the first few chapters, but no, that is wrong. That's because after a few chapters, there are some good spirits that will help you and make friends with you. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. I gotta go to the night parade. It's not Ubon, by the way. Bye.